My mind said me no, but my body, my body is telling me yes. I don't know what, where that came from. It just came into my head, so I thought, I thought I'd sing it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Eye. How the devil are you? Today, we're going to be looking at a little channel called That Is Impossible. Or if you're French, That Is Impossible. This video is called Creepy Things You Shouldn't Watch Alone at Night at Noches. That's Spanish, by the way. <laughs> it might be night for you. It probably is night for you because I upload it at night. But whatever, mate. Okay, I hopefully these are freaky deaky. Listen, make sure you go to that is impossible channel. Subscribe and do the thing because he's got 1.11 million subscribers. Let's get him to 5 million subscribers. Okay. Anyway, without further ado, da dilly day. Let's do this. What? If you go full screen, you can still scroll down. I, I never knew that. I never knew that. Shh. Just a simple go fact on. that there are that things that we impossible. don't fully understand, things that we don't know exactly how to explain, can leave anyone creeped out. From bizarre encounters with strange cryptids, we done yet? shadow people, and other shadow creepy bastards. things that we wouldn't even know where to begin to explain, to creepy sightings of megalodon-like creatures. But okay, you're, you're doing it for me, mate. You're doing it. I mean, it sounds good. In this video, we're going to be analyzing and taking a look into creepy things that ended up being caught on camera. Are you guys ready? I'm ready, mate. Well, let's go. Fucking hell. Maximum intro, please! Pipes, mate, let's go. One of go. my favorite things to do when I'm on vacation is travel to the beach and enjoy a sunny day. Wow, okay. And at night, share creepy and scary stories of things that happened in the ocean. Wow. The thing is, wow. there are several stories and myths of strange and huge creatures that supposedly roam our oceans. If half of them are true, then that's already too many. For instance, in this video we can see what appears to be a mermaid caught on camera. What? The uploader says that this video was taken in Karaki Beach. However, the quality is very bad, and it's very difficult to affirm exactly if this is real or not. Come to Wexford Island, and we have an animal. Well, let's see the upper body then. Which is a bit strange. Jesus fucking, how big is this thing? In Ireland, a dragon-like creature- oh, oh, Christ, I thought that was the mermaid, mate! Jesus Christ! Little mermaids just on fucking roids or something! It was found washed ashore, but left locals baffled. Smelly. And as you can see, it's very difficult to affirm or even state wow. what this creature is. It does not look like a whale or anything like that. What do you think? Oh, mate! I mean, if there's any surfers watching, imagine surfing and feeling that thing brush up against your leg, mate. Motherfucker, I'm gone! I'm gone! What the hell is that? At a beach in Russia, a furry-like creature was found by locals and also left them baffled. Now in this case, what's curious is that the creature was partially covered in sand, and locals tried to dig it all out using a shovel, but they were unable. The creature was that big. What the now, some suggested that there was some sort of woolly mammoth that had washed ashore due to melting glaciers. Others suggested that it could be some sort of huge unknown sea creature. 
while experts tried to find an explanation and suggested that maybe it was parts of a sea whale or a shark. That looked like the, the hair on it was probably like growth from the sea, you know, plankton build up over time or something. Man, look at these whales, mate. They're bloody huge. Is it me? Okay. This is, this is, hear me out. When you were a kid, when you were younger, did you think that whales were a lot bigger? Because now as an adult, when I look at a whale, I go, yeah, that's pretty big. But as a kid, I thought it was the biggest thing ever. Well, it is the biggest thing. Whatever, mate. You know what I mean? I just thought that as a kid, they were absolutely stupidly huge that you couldn't see from one point to the other point, you know? And now I look at them and go, yeah, it's big. However, to this day, it remains a mystery. The thing is, we know very little about what really lives inside our oceans. About no, five don't. to ten percent of it is uncovered by us. The rest is unknown. I know, five to ten percent, mate. Imagine that. Take this video for instance as an example. It was captured by Bob Plum 3,000 meters deep into the Gulf of Mexico. Mexico. This creature seems to be a shark, but it doesn't have a dorsal fin. So it must be something else. It's videos like these and many others and that leaves us baffled. That looks like a whale. That's a whale, right? Scratching your heads thinking, wow, there's got to be loads more hidden there deep under the sea. What the what fuck that? was that? And there is. In this next video posted by Adam Haran on YouTube, supposedly a Brazilian Coast Guard was doing a rescue when all of a sudden something different was captured on camera. Oh, Check right, this here we go. Out. Okay, I will do. A long and huge creature swims just next to one of the rescuers. If you watch closely- Oh my shit in hell, mate. Hang on a second. Yes. Look at you. Look at the size of this thing. Look at the size of this thing. Look, 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 look. Just next to one of the rescuers. If you watch closely, this thing is too big to be a shark or maybe even a whale. When this video was posted online, it sparked a discussion between is this a real megalodon sighting or is this fake that ain't fake mate why would you fake shit like that really nah now, a megalodon is an extinct species of a shark that lived approximately four million years ago and maximum years ago please sorry i'm shouting too much i'm sorry look at the original shark yeah and look at that i've seen one of those before on sea of thieves and to this day, there is no official sighting of such a creature. However, in few occasions, divers find themselves face to face with what could be traces of the existence of a megalodon. Oh, is that a tooth? So on one hand, many internet users believe that this could be a real Megalodon sighting. And Shit. on another hand, there were loads of people saying that this was actually a faked video. Now, I haven't found any official statement saying that this is fake. However, who knows? It could be. In your opinion, could it be that this video is the real deal or is it something else? I don't know, man. That looks pretty legit to me. And could Megalodon, a huge shark that lived millions of years ago, still be out there somewhere in our oceans? May I, do you know what? I think if we've only explored 5 or 10% of the ocean, there has to be something down there like that, you know? I mean, look at the, look at the whales. Look at the whales. I, y y y yeah, yeah. No, I, I, believe, I believe that there's something huge down there, mate. Maximum. Just Rambo in it. Now, when it comes to exploring beautiful places in the Dominican Republic, William Ramos TV is one of the best YouTube channels there is. If you take a look at his channel, he has about 300,000 subscribers and he does videos focused on tourism. None of his videos are actually focused on the strange, the bizarre or the mysterious. In one particular okay. video, William asks a guide to show them around an area that 
not long ago was known as a native cemetery and more recently known as a place for people to go to oh fuck it i hate that picture mate look at you i hate that picture practice witchcraft william asks the guide to show the place around the guide begins then explaining how certain rituals were done in this place and inside the caves there seems to be petroglyphs all over and some of them had certain meanings this is when all of a sudden they actually capture something strange oh God. on camera. This is what happened. Oh, there you go, mate. Mate, this is going to freak me right out, man, because this, this is legit. Right, we've just said about matey with his channel. It's about tourism and stuff like that. Okay, this is not, this is not his bag. This is not his avenue. This is not his genre. Okay? Let's go. Grifos para proteger este, estos lugares. Y si ven la expresión, eh, ah, sí, es, es un poco cuidado. Es como sí. cuidado, mi hermano. Sí, sí, es verdad. Oh. Pero, la mujer agachándose con el puchero. Right at the entrance of the cave, they notice a petroglyph that resembles some sort of humanoid figure. A what? This bizarre humanoid shaped figure is said to be an entity that protects the entrance of the cave. This is when they decide to continue to explore the cave entrance, and all of a sudden, this happens. Oh God! What was that? What was that? What was that there, mate? What was that there? Let's go back. No, ponían su petrolifo como como señal de que ellos vivían. Did you see it? In yeah. the background, something seems to move. It did not capture the attention of William nor his team at the time. This was something that his subscribers actually pointed out days later after the video was what uploaded. What the hell? At first, I thought this was just a person. However, if you take a look, rewind and slow-mo the video, you can actually see this is something else. The thing is, if you watch the full video on his channel, it looks like it's got it's like the elephant man. It's got a long trunk, huh? Maximum nose, please. I know. William Ramos and his team were all alone at this place. There was no one else with them, and at this exact moment, they were all at this side of the cave, just about to enter it. There was no one there at that other side. So whatever this thing is, could it be some sort of cryptid caught on camera, or maybe an entity that takes care of this place, or even maybe? Someone that was following them the entire time. Ooh, What's your take? I don't know, mate. I don't know. Probably somebody lives in the mountains no, or something. There's one you thing know? that I forest. enjoy doing mountains. is listening to good music. I enjoyed the 60s and the 70s. And I think it was a very magical time. Yeah, man. However, there is something dark, mysterious and very creepy about the 60s. And it's the fact that many bands at the time affirmed to have some sort of contact with the occult. Bands like Led Zeppelin, The Doors and many others were said to have sold their souls to the devil at some point in exchange for fame and money. What? I never heard about that. What the hell? So I told, so about a week. Uh, do I want to hear this shit, mate? Not today, but about a week ago. Oh, fucking hell. I sold. I'm an island boy, cause I'm an island boy. I'm an island boy. Yeah, I'm an island boy. My soul. What? About a week what? ago, I sold my soul. About a week ago, I sold my soul. You fucking dickhead. I sold my soul to have a life that I wanted. I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out, and so I. And it was not very different with Bob Dylan in a chilling interview. See, there's a lot of conspiracies about this, isn't there? A lot, even now, um, uh, that th these actresses and actors and singers, they're all selling their souls and stuff. You know, you, you see it. There's a bit of a conspiracy going on about it. Um, that they're selling their, soul their souls to get popular and to get famous and stuff mate like what it's so crazy man it's so crazy is it real i mean what bob talks about his deal with destiny, destiny 
You know, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my end. But what do you do though? What do you do? Just, just see the devil and just go, hey, hey, mate, while you're here, um, listen, uh, I really like to X, Y, Z, whatever. Yeah, what, what do you do? How do you do it? I mean, I'm not going to do it, but you know what I mean? How do you get around to be, oh, fuck it, you never guess what? I was just in Morrison's the other day, and you never guess who I bumped into, mate. How do you go about doing that shit? What was your bargain? To get where um, I am now. Now if you pay attention, it doesn't seem like Bob Dylan is making a joke about it or even having fun. He seems quite serious about it. And for some mysterious reason, he's telling all of this on live television for millions of people to see. But it's what he's about to say next that will chill you to the bone. Should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and, in, uh, and then in a world we can't see. Now what makes this all even creepier is the fact that Bob Dylan began his career in 1959 and by 61 he was already very famous. Bob looked up to Robert Johnson, a musician from the 1920s who was said to be one of the first musicians to sell his soul to the devil. He actually stated that in many songs of his and at the age of 27 he died in mysterious ways. Mate, I'm not being funny, but this is actually freaking me out more than some of the videos I react to. This is like this is this shit's real, mate. This shit is real. In your opinion, what is really going on here and why do some singers and famous people like Bob Dylan come forward regretfully stating that they did such a thing? I think that I think in some cases, a lot of cases, when they're saying that, that they're, they're selling their soul to the devil. I think that's more of a, a metaphor to say, basically, they've signed on a piece of paper to the, the people, the board, the big, the, you know, the people around the big tables to say, look, if you want to get famous, you've got to do X, Y, and Z for us, mate. Because, you know, we run the, we run the, the music industry. We do this, right? Basically, your name is... It, it, is on our piece of paper. Do what we do, do what we say, and we'll get you the, the life that you want. Not literally the devil. But in some cases it could be. I'm not too sure, mate. You know? It's fucking weird though, man. Now talk about capturing something really creepy on camera. Back in 1679, Oliver Plunkett was a bishop for the Catholic Church, and he was arrested by the English monarchy for promoting Catholic faith. At the time, it was considered a very serious crime. And a couple of years later, in 1681, he was executed in Newgate Prison in London. Now here's where things start to get really creepy. In 1921, almost 250 years later, wow. Oliver Plunkett's head and his jail cell door were brought to St. Peter's Church in Ireland for display. His head was placed on a neatly decorated glass box and his jail cell was set up just next to it. The same jail cell where Oliver Plunkett was held as a prisoner for 8 months before he was executed. Now Vicky Bramshaw is a YouTuber who was on vacation when she decided to visit this creepy place. Look this at that mate, jeez Louise man. Hey, Imagine painting that. Fuck. This is when she actually captured something chilling on camera. Check this out. This is the door of the cell in Newgate Prison, where St. Oliver Plunkett was in prison for eight months. He's a very most interesting figure. Yeah. Because yeah. He's Mate, I, I, I see. I've I've seen this one before. I've seen this video before. I think it's some sort of theatrical thing that because it's obviously the head and things like that. And I I think that's what it is. I think it's a theatrical sort of um, just an image, a projector of some sort in that. So it just freaks people out. I think you know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Isn't it here is one of the first ecumenical Christian. Vicky captures what appears to be a pale face looking back straight at them through one of the openings in the door. Now whatever this thing is, back at the time, many internet users left comments saying that this was some sort of reflection. 
However, to me, it doesn't look like that. And if we actually <laughs> take a look at this same door through other videos... Yeah, no, that's not a reflection. I don't see how a reflection could actually happen there. So, could this actually be the ghost of Oliver Plunkett? Or maybe something else? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Back in the old days, witchcraft, rituals and things of sort were believed to be a way of communicating with the other side. As in ghosts, spirits and demonic Fucking entities. Hell. It was sort of common knowledge. Nowadays things have changed, we have internet, we have technology, and most people don't know anything about rituals or... I like that. I like that picture. Look what that symbolizes, mate. Hey, Look what that symbolizes. Technology. We're together. We don't see each other. Because our faces are in fucking phones. Witchcraft. However, in certain countries and cultures, this common knowledge still exists and is still used. This is the case, for example, in Mexico. Mexico. Now, there is a YouTuber in Mexico known as Payaso de la Toledo, and they do exploration in places such as cemeteries and abandoned houses in search for people practicing rituals. Dios mío. Dios mío. Están rezando, compa. In my opinion, it's not a very intelligent idea because it could be very dangerous. Yeah. The thing is, at first, I thought that their videos were faked. However, when I learned that they are live streaming, this is when I actually started to pay attention that maybe this is the real deal. Okay, let's and in go. in one particular video, things don't go exactly as they expect. And this is what happens. Oy, oy. Si es. Ah. Si. ¿Quién eres? Buenas noches. At first, the group of explorers finds what appears to be a person dressed in all black, hidden oh, yeah. in one of the trees. Because they are unable to cross bastard. the river, they try to communicate with this person without success. He then decides to start exploring deeper into the cemetery. And this is when things start to get creepier. Dios mío. Oh vean, vean. shit in hell, mate. Run! Mira, 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 compa. Miren. Lo que estaba en el árbol, hay que checar, compa. Ay, espéreme, espéreme. Let's check who's around. Fucking sí. run. Escuchen, escuchen, escuchen. Miren, miren, ahí está algo, ahí está algo, miren. Ahí está algo, ahí está, ahí hay algo, ahí hay algo. Vámonos por este lado. Ah. Ay, Dios mío. Uy, papá, hay más acá abajo, hay más acá abajo. Hay más acá abajo, hay más acá, vengase, vengase, vengase. Hay más acá abajo. Payaso de la Toledo is trying to capture some... What did he say, my asshole, what? Payaso de la Toledo... Oh, I he said my asshole. <laughs> ...is trying to capture some sort of ritual on camera, and it seems that they are in the right place. There's something happening here. This is when they hear a strange noise coming from not so far away. They decide to follow it. And this is what happens next. Pues... Que compa, le seguimos por acá o nos vamos, le damos vuelta. Oh my Miren, God, amigos. Mate. Get out of there! Arriba el árbol, arriba el árbol, güey. Arriba el árbol, está con una mujer. ¡Mira una mujer! Arriba el árbol, está con una mujer. Ahí está. Es una bruja, compa. Ahí arriba, No sé, güey, pero ahí hay algo. Hay una bruja ahí, eh. What the hell? Cuidado atrás, cuidado atrás, compa. No pueden llegar. The group spots what appears to be a person on top of one of the trees. They can't exactly agree to what it is. Yeah. They decide to get closer to it. However, when they do, there is absolutely nothing there. Arriba, compa, acá. Oy, oy, aquí, aquí arriba del árbol. Ya no hay nada, compa. Ya no hay nada. Ya no hay nada. Man, that's this is when, up. I guess, for the first time, the group realizes that they shouldn't be there. And this is what they ended up capturing on camera. Por este lado también se escucha. Hoy. Oh fuck! Mire, 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 mire. Ahí está uno, ahí está uno, ahí se agachó uno, mire. It's a shadow bastard, mate. Ahí se agachó uno, mire. Ahí, ahí va, mire. Ahí va, ahí, 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 ahí,
This is what happens there. Venga, 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 por acá, compa. Nos van a rodear, nos van a rodear, nos van a rodear. Mate, honestly, if that... Imagine doing a ghost hunt and seeing, like, a cult doing that, right? All dressed up. Oh, man. There'd be... You'd be f in fear that they're just gonna run after you and just start sacrificing you and shit. I mean, I'd fucking rambo it. I'd be no, like, no, do not fucking compa. touch me, mate. Ahí están, miren. Mira, mira, ahí van más, miren. Miren, amigos. Miren, miren, miren. Acá están en la, en la tuba verde. Cuidado, cuidado, por acá, por acá, por acá. What? Arriba del árbol. Oh, fuck. Get him, Arriba del árbol. Toledo and his friends run in fear, and I can completely understand why. However, it's very difficult to affirm if this is indeed a group of people that was performing a ritual or if they were just grave robbers with the intention to scare anyone approaching whatever they are doing in the cemetery. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? Just a bunch of weirdos, mate. Literally, just a bunch of weirdos who got together and gone, hey, should we uh, <laughs> start sacrificing shit? Really? <laughs> Sounds a good idea. Yeah, man, it'd be cool. Let's go to the graveyard, start sacrificing stuff. What are we gonna sacrifice? Anything we say. All right, let's go. And if you were in Toledo's position, what would you have done? Now, I don't know about you, but there's something creepy about the ancient Egyptian pyramids. I'm wow. not too sure exactly why, but when I look at the petroglyphs and the way they built the pyramids, I just feel this weird sensation that maybe there was something else to their time. Absolutely. If you actually look at it, the greatness they achieved and all that, it makes us question exactly who built it and how. Was it really human technology or was it something else? Alien technology, the thing is, mate. about a year ago, the Giza pyramids were visited by strange objects and lots of people actually captured it on camera. And it happened again just last week. Check this out. What? video uploaded by Adriano to Facebook, we can see what appears to be a luminous object just on top of the pyramid. And at first, it appears to be some sort of drone or maybe something like that. The object is too big, however, to be a drone in my yeah, opinion, it could be bright. something else. Now, last year, in 2020, it happened differently, and this is what was captured on camera. What is that? <gasps> what is going on? I, I fucking don't know, Tracy! See, I told you it'd be a good holiday, didn't I? I told you it'd be a good bloody holiday! I feel like they're actually... Is that... What? I, 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 at first I thought it was... You know those um, candle things that you, you light and then they, they glow up and then, then they... You, you know, the little balloons. But they're all simultaneously working together. Are they? They're not. In your opinion, what is going on here? Could it be a drone or maybe something else? What's your take? I think they, they might be. Um, now, I believe in like aliens and UFOs and stuff like that. Absolutely, mate. 100% legit. But they might be those ball things that you... I've just explained. Yeah? Can't remember what they're called. But I think they might be those. Now, if you've ever researched into creepy topics, you've probably come across shadow people. Oh, Our shadow go, people man. are supposedly evil entities that appear in people's dreams and in their rooms in the middle of the night. Creepy thing about it is that loads of people claim to have seen such a thing at some point in their lives. And some of them say that bad things happen some days later after seeing it. Now Sabia Il is a YouTuber who a couple of months ago started experiencing strange things in her home. Oh god. <laughs> She actually saw objects moving by themselves and heard whispering sounds. Look, she was able to capture some of it on camera. Jesus, talk about minimalistic, mate. Where is everything? And it appeared that there was a shadow person in her house. Sabia Ail did what most people would do and she moved out into a new apartment okay. where things were going good. Until a couple of weeks ago. When strange things started happening again. Okay, so there's somebody out in the and garden. This is what she was able to capture on camera. Look at 
Ik knip er weer. Ah, dan maak ik het al. Oh, met nieuwe huid. Oh shit and hell. It's a lovely house by the way. Just gonna I'm just gonna say that. Oh mate. So we Ann go. was apparently setting up her Christmas tree when all of a sudden one of the lights in her hallway starts flickering by itself. That she could went be to check it out in hopes that it was just an electric failure, but it wasn't, and she was just about to find out. This is what happens next. Oh shit in hell. RUN! Fucking hell, mate! Here we go! Huh? You're having a laugh. You're having a fucking laugh, mate. Oh. What? Oh shit in hell. Oh fucking hell. Oh god, is that somebody running? Oh fucking hell, throw up, just throw up. Her hallway lights go off by themselves once again and Sabia Il starts to panic. Now if you look at the video, it's very hard to understand exactly what's going on, but if we mess with the contrast and the brightness, you can actually see that when she was about to oh go into the God, hallway, no. she spots a tall, dark figure oh, staring no. right back at her. This is very difficult to make out in the original video, and this is one of the reasons I believe this- Oh my- Oh my god! And the. Uh, is it gonna run? Is it gonna fucking run? This could be the real deal. Whatever this thing is, it's probably not a friendly entity, and Sabia Il made a very good move not going into that hallway all alone. Oh, imagine seeing that stood in front of you, mate. F fuck that for a game of soldiers! What's your take? In your opinion, could Sabia Il be faking these videos for views, or is it something else? Now, Sabia but did you hear Hill the running? isn't the only one to capture strange things in relation to shadow people and things of sort. Working as a security guard in the night shift has its perks. It can be a good thing because it's quieter, but at the same time, it can be as scary as it can get. And it's not much different with Matt Janai, who posted a video to YouTube in August 22nd, 2020, of something chilling that happened to him. Here we go. Here we go. Shush, 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 shush. He caught on camera. Shush. Aku tak paham tu pintu yang tandas tu selalu sangat terbuka. Masuk hari ni dah dua kali pintu tu saya terbuka je. Jam sekarang nak pukul 3.04. 3.04 pagi. Apa nak jadi jadi hari ni aku akan cari apa benda yang sebab pintu tu buka untuk malam ni. All right, this, this is fucking put me on edge, mate. This is put me. In. I'm on the edge of glory. What are we gonna see? What are we gonna hear? What are we gonna feel? What are we gonna sense? Match and I do some checking around, he goes upstairs, he locks the door, he makes sure that there is no one inside or outside the building. This is when Match and I goes back downstairs and when he looks up he realizes the doors are open once again. Thinking that it might be someone pranking him, he runs upstairs. This is what happens next. Oh god. Maximum security please. Bravo in it. Good man. Earning your money. Let's go. Sial tu. Aku tak boleh sampai berapa minit. Terbuka ni. Oi, siapa dah lari? Yeah, get out, get the fuck out. Awesome. Oh, 
Oh fucking hell! What's wrong? Oh god. What are we? I stuck with what I'm Seconds before Janai goes into the bathroom, his phone suffers some sort of electronic failure. It's when he opens the door that he realizes that there's something there, just behind it. Oh what appears my. to be a tall, dark figure. Could be a shadow person. Now what leads me to believe that this video might not be fake is Janai's reaction and taking into consideration How tall are these shadow bastards mate? Like 9 foot tall? ...duration that this figure, whatever it is, it's too tall and too big to be a human being, but I could be wrong. What's your take? That's Don't forget freaky. we now have a new Discord server you can join yes. anytime. I'm and on if it, you mate. enjoyed it's this video, brilliant. leave a like. Get the merch at caspersite.com. Just Rambo it. There you go, mate. That was That Is Impossible channel. Absolutely baby brilliant. Make sure you go over there, channel. Subscribe and do the thing, okay? Thank you so much for watching, mate. What do you think on some of these, all right? Some of them legit, some of them fake, all legit, all of them fake. What do you think, mate? Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.